Greetings family, we are here at the African Renaissance Monument and I'm here at the base of the statue. We just literally finished walking up 180 stairs to get here. And I got Mr. Bomani the courier. Bomani, so remember you're the one that told me about the museum inside and everything and going up to the, uh, the top of the statue. So that's what we're gonna do. But family, this is where we just walked from. Son, come here. How was your walk? Yeah, that's where we just came from, man. This is the beautiful Dakar Senegal. And you're looking around, looking around, and you, there was little to nothing in this area several years ago. But I'm telling you, family, the whole African continent is growing and developing. You just have to figure if you want to be a part of the future. And once again, we have everything in France. French, parlez-vous français. So, if you don't speak the language, family, make sure you get your authentic tour guide to understand multiple languages. That's a trained professional tour guide, and that's that man right there. You know, tour guide Abdul. You know, you know, you know. It's like everywhere we go in whatever country, we always have an incredible tour guide. That's just a great representation of his uh, wonderful country. Yes, yes, yes. Let me show you the ticket booth, family. This is the ticket booth, so you come, you check into the ticket booth, and then you come on in. And then when you come on in, family, what you're gonna see is a beautiful museum. So we are on, the, we are in. So we are literally inside, and we're at the base of the statue on the inside. So you have some stairs, but also what you do have is the elevator. So we have a small elevator over here. And once we get to the elevator, the elevator is gonna take you up to the 15th floor. So as you can see, zero all the way to 15. So between, so you, you know, you, you can go, this is a zero floor. So you can, you can take the stairs all the way up to the fourth. But if you wanna go up to the top, you have to take the elevator to the 15 because there's nothing between four and 15. And as you can see, elevator is small because this goes up to you know, the man's head, at the, which is the highest point. And then you can go around his head once you get out of the elevator, and you'll be able to see all of the car. Mr. Bomani Dakari. So you remember the elevator itself, small elevator? How much people fit in there the last time? And how much? Five. Five? It was really five. I thought it was three people, but we're definitely going to see. I like your shirt, man. Nice blue color. And one thing about when you get here, it's just bright and vibrant. It, well, everything here is brand new also. And you can tell that it's well maintained. That's where we're going, family. Uh, in November of 2024, Egypt. Yeah. 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 And you got that great pyramid right there. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna be like literally just in the mix. And this will be our first journey of a lifetime to Egypt as far as a tour that we're doing. Now, I've been to Egypt right after I came back from Senegal in 2004. So, Egypt and Senegal is my first two countries. Egypt in April 2004, and then I literally just got to the African con continent a month before that in March of 2004. So, March and April of 2004, this marks our anniversary of this connecting to Africa. And it's been 19 beautiful years and 17 years in business, family. 17 years in business, taking over 30 different groups to over eight different countries in Africa. So that is the journey and the energy we're building from. And we're just adding new countries and you know, making it work. And this reminds me of the door of no return on Gori Island.
you know what I mean? This is this seems like this seems like the wall of legends, you know what I'm saying? I see the warriors up there, you know. Patrice Lumumba, Haile Selassie, Kwame Nkrumah, yeah? Sekou Toure, L. S. Senghor, yeah? Gamal, Nassar. I mean, it's, they're all their family. They're some of our great foundational leaders who have been always trying to progress us as a people in Africa. Many of you are energy from the Americas, you know, the great Marcus Garvey himself from Jamaica, George Padmore from Trinidad, W.E.B. Du Bois from America, you know, Rosa Parks, Angela Davis, Malcolm X, Jesse Jackson, you know, some of our iconic figures that have contributed to us as a people being relevant and us as a people continuing a legacy energy of fighting. And then the man himself, you know, Dr. King, you know, we can never, we can never forget about Dr. King, great strategies of trying to just, you know, work with our people to get through great adversities. So always honor our ancestors, always honor the people who came before us because, um, you, know, you know, I don't think any of us, you know, have contributed or can c contribute more than, you know, some of our great ancestors. So let's build on what they, let's build onto the foundation that uh, they built. We was in Gori Island a few days ago, as my friend, <laughs> it seemed like a few days ago, but it was yesterday. And this is one of the statues uh, that represent breaking the chain. And, you know, unfortunately everything is in France, so I'm just illustrating because none of us uh, speak French. No parlez-vous français. <laughs> so, why do we have a statue of Gandhi in here? Why does he get the biggest statue? Uh, we, we're, gonna, we're not going to show that image off. I just, you know... This a statue here, if you're going to put a statue here, put Marcus Garvey or Kwame Nkrumah or put uh, Malcolm X. But, you know, people do different things for publicity. You got some more legends over here. You got, you got the man himself, Booker T. Washington. So the names are called out, these are some of our folks. Uh, I'm going to have to have somebody explain that statue right there. I mean, they, they can you know, put them on there like everybody else, but don't make, you know, hold him up like he's some holy hero for black people. I think he represents Indian nationalism and not like black nationalism. You know, it's always confusing about Indians because the majority of them look darker than me. <laughs> That's a trip, right? Yeah, we definitely have to talk about that family. We, don't, we, we can't leave no stones unturned. <laughs> this is a legacy movement, family. So here we're going to start a little lecture family.